Imagine this, you have the budget to do your dream project. You're working with amazing people. You're not doing it alone. You have a healthy work-life balance and you have a paycheck to bring home to your family at the end of the day. Or you can spend it on another pair of skis. But whatever you want, you have money. That's a dream, right? It's what we all want as filmmakers. But it can sometimes be tricky to know where to begin when it comes to working with brands. So stick around, because in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know about working with brands as an adventure filmmaker. Let's dive in. The truth is, it's nothing like old friends. Cause you can't make old friends. Working with brands and helping create marketing materials that they can use in ads or social media was a huge turning point for myself as an adventure filmmaker. I've worked with a lot of the biggest brands in the outdoor industry, and today I'm here to walk you through everything that I have learned about how to work with brands so that you can do it too. Honestly, there's probably a lot of different ways that you can go about it, but I'm gonna walk you through how I did it because it worked for me, so maybe it would work for you. Before even beginning to work with brands, I was really intentional about trying to create a distinctive filmmaking identity. What that meant for me was I tried to figure out what I wanted to share. As a filmmaker, I always say that outdoor adventure is my passion and storytelling is my purpose. So when those two worlds meet, that ended up manifesting in me sharing uplifting stories about hope, joy, and adventure in the outdoor industry. I knew that this was sort of my guiding light forward and that all projects, whether it be passion projects or paid projects, would fall under this umbrella of my mission statement. This became a very distinctive identity in the types of projects that I wanted to work on and the projects that inevitably I ended up only working on. If there's one piece of wisdom we can take away from the plastic man, is that positive environmental change begins at home. We sometimes just have to be brave enough to take that step. I had a very broad umbrella because I love to surf, I love to trail run, I love to climb, I love to ski, I love to do all sorts of outdoor sports. If you're really passionate about skiing or you're really passionate about surfing and creating a distinctive identity within that one sport can maybe help elevate you a little bit faster because you've fallen into a niche a little bit quicker than I have. But all that to be said, regardless of how you craft your distinctive filmmaking identity, it's just important that you think through this and do it for yourself. Building on top of that, once you've crafted your distinctive filmmaking identity, now it's time to build out a portfolio. The top brands in the outdoor industry crave authenticity. Authenticity is the sort of buzzword that every brand wants. They don't want things to feel staged or inauthentic. They want things to feel real and capture the human experiences that we experience for ourselves when we're in nature. It's a journey, but it's worth it. Given that authenticity is a buzzword these days, I encourage you to create an authentic portfolio for yourself. Really try to capture who you are and what you stand for through the films that you're making. You can do this in a lot of different ways, but I encourage you to start small. Building this portfolio is really important because it allows you to show prospective brands what you're capable of. And it's actually going beyond the technical abilities you may have and into your soul as a filmmaker. The outdoor industry is small and companies wanna work with others that have a similar mission and similar values to their own. So go out and create something that of course is your best work, put it on a high quality website, send it out to prospective clients and see what they say. In my own filmmaking journey, I believe having a high quality portfolio really helped elevate my career to the next level. Actually, my first big agency job that I'd ever done came through my website. They had found me somehow looking up Colorado Filmmaker and they really resonated with my branded documentary style pieces that I showed on my website. Turns out all of those projects were passion projects. All of those projects received no funding from anybody, but the agency knew what I could do based on what I'd already made. And I wasn't lying about my experience. I was showing them what I was capable of. That's a really important distinctive factor. And I went on and executed that job. And because they liked my style, they hired me to create a film in the exact same style as what I'd been known for. So it all worked out. Now that you've thought about your distinctive filmmaking style, your distinctive filmmaking identity, and you've created a portfolio of work that surrounds that identity, now it comes time to reaching out to the brands. The biggest mistake I see beginner filmmakers make is that they want the brand to create value for them. They are hoping that the brand will elevate their career to the next level, when in actuality, your job as a filmmaker is to help create value to the brand. The brand's not creating value for you, you're creating value for the brand. So thinking of this less as a business transaction and more of a collaboration on how you can help best serve those companies and best serve that client. I believe when you think about it this way, it becomes less about a 
formal business contract and more of a collaboration on how you can best serve that client and what they need. In this pitching process, it's not about selling your skills. It's about creating a partnership where the brand values you and you value the brand. When it comes to navigating this brand landscape, understanding that clients' expectations and their communication styles may be a little bit different depending on who you're talking to. Although the outdoor industry already is pretty niche, it's important to be flexible and adaptable in how you pitch certain clients. If you're pitching a story to Patagonia, making sure you're approaching it maybe in a more eco-conscious way or talking about the sustainability of nature versus maybe a little bit more of the technical precision that La Sportiva prides themselves on in their products. So depending on the brand that you're talking to, you may want to tailor your approach in a different way. And a big part of this is evolving with the industry. Working with brands is an ever-changing dynamic landscape. What brands wanted three to five years ago is incredibly different than what they wanted now. Five years ago, branded documentaries were all the rage and every company wanted a branded documentary to just put on YouTube like Patagonia and Yeti. Then as the landscape has evolved, people have realized that, hey, actually social media is a really important tool to help market to our customers. We need to start to understand that. So as a filmmaker, being able to understand that branded documentaries used to be important are still definitely important, but how can I leverage that into social media? This is of course in 2024, everything's gonna change of course in the next few years again. But understanding what these trends are in the industry such that you can market yourself to these companies in the most up-to-date, technologically savvy way is really important as well. Being at the forefront of the marketing industry as a filmmaker can really help you in terms of having these sorts of pitching and negotiation contract talks with these companies because if you know what they want and you're able to say like, hey, this ended up working really well last year for other companies that I worked for. What if we tried the same thing for you? They may be open to try that and you may be seen as a trailblazer bringing in new ideas rather than a filmmaker that's passive and looking like I'm just here to make a video and move on. Again, you want to be providing value to these companies these companies shouldn't be providing value to you. And I will say, in the traditional adventure filmmaking industry that I'm a part of, where I'm working with brands to create branded documentaries and marketing materials for their companies, social media has played zero role in that. Well, let me explain. My presence on social media has played zero role in that. I can guarantee that Patagonia and La Sportiva and the North Face did not look at my Instagram before they hired me. They went to my website, they saw my distinctive filmmaking identity, they saw my portfolio, they've seen what I've created for other brands, and they hired me because of those skills, not because my ability to post consistently on social media. So social media can be a tool to introduce you to these brands, but in my case, and in many other cases, it doesn't have to be through social media. So if you're thinking about how do I get started in working with brands, Think through your distinctive filmmaking identity and go out and create a portfolio of work that reflects that and put that on a website. Of course, you can market it on social media, but ultimately it comes down to looking professional and a website is the best way to do that. This isn't a sponsored video by any means, but I do think it's really important to communicate who you are through the types of work that you're creating. And a website is a great way to showcase that. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. If you're interested more about the adventure photography and adventure filmmaking industry, I'm gonna be walking through all aspects of the adventure filmmaking process through creating pitch decks all the way to working with clients and behind the scenes. So stick around on this channel. There will be more to come. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in future videos. I love you. I'm proud of you. Have the best day ever.